So let's use that characteristic equation to, uh, to solve this equation. I'm going to set my uh, substitution, y is equal to e to the mx. So when we substitute in, remember that the second derivative is going to give us an m squared. So from here, I can go straight to my characteristic equation by uh, using m squared in place of y double prime and using m in place of y prime plus 3 equals 0. This is my characteristic equation because remember that when you substitute in you're going to have that e to the mx in all your terms but for your y prime you'll have a coefficient of m for y double prime you'll have a coefficient of m squared and when you factor out that e to the mx you're left with this characteristic equation uh, this is an equation that we can solve by factoring this factors into m plus 3 times m plus 1 and then setting your factors equal to 0 we get m is equal to negative 3 and m is equal to negative 1 uh, each one of these m's goes back into our uh, our so solution that we have here to get y equals e to the negative 3x that's going to be one solution and so I'll call that y1 and another solution to the equation is y2 equals e to the negative 1x or just y2 equals e to the negative x so these are my two solutions and I want you to notice that when you have a, a second order ODE you can get two linearly independent solutions these two solutions are linearly independent and our general solution can be made up of those two solutions the general solution can be written as C1 e to the negative 3x plus C2 e to the negative x where C1 and C2 are any two constants so this is our general solution